Hello, I'm Andrew Schneider and I'd like to thank you for choosing Systems Environmental Products as your equipment supplier. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to complete the necessary servicing on the Udor diaphragm pump. In this video, we are using a Kappa 15. Step 1. Not shown. Remove the pump from the power source. This may be a gas-powered engine or an electric motor depending on your sprayer model. Step 2. Draining crankcase oil. Drain pump crankcase by removing the oil drain plug located at the bottom of the pump. Also remove the oil fill cap or plug located on the front of the pump. Step 3. Pump Head Removal Starting at one side of the pump, use an Allen key to remove the five bolts holding the pump head on either side of the body. Remember which pump head goes with each side of the pump body for rebuild process later on in this trading guide. Removing the heads may require some light prying. Step 4. Diaphragm Removal Turn the crankshaft to bring piston up to the top of its stroke. Remove the diaphragm bolt, washer, and diaphragm. and repeat on the other side. Step five, cleaning the crankcase. To properly clean the crankcase, you need to remove the piston sleeve. Using paint thinner or Varsol in a spraying bottle, clean the inside of the crankcase to remove as much contaminant as possible. You may need to use compressed air to remove any fine particles. Step 6. Cleaning the piston sleeves. Using the spray bottle of cleaner, wash the piston sleeves ensuring you are removing as much contaminant as possible. Remove the excess residue with compressed air if possible. Step 7. Reinstall the piston sleeves. Step 8. Installing new diaphragms. Install the diaphragm bolt and washer onto the new diaphragm with the flat side of the diaphragm facing down onto the piston. You may need to rotate the crankshaft to access the piston. Below is the recommended torque settings for each pump.
Step 9. Installing new valves. For each head assembly, there are two valves. One valve lets fluid in, suction, while the other lets fluid out, discharge. Replace both valves in each head with the new valves. It is recommended that you remove and replace one valve at a time to ensure it is being installed correctly. One valve will be facing up while the other is facing down. Never run a diaphragm pump with the pump valves installed incorrectly. Failure to do so could result in personal injury, property damage, or damage to the pump. Step 10. Installing new valve o-rings. Over time, the valve o-rings may become flat or may not seal properly. Remove the old o-rings and replace with the new ones. Step 11. Pump head install. Take the pump head with the new valves and valve o-rings and reinstall back onto the pump body. Use the five bolts per pump head to fasten to the pump body. Below are the recommended torque settings for each pump. Step 12, installing pulsation dampener diaphragm. Bleed off the air in the chamber and remove the four cover bolts. Remove the cover and the pulsation dampener diaphragm. Install the new diaphragm dome down. Step 13. Reinstall cover and charge with air. Reinstall the cover and the four bolts. Torque to the recommended settings below. Using an air compressor, recharge the dampener with air to 20% of the pump's operating pressure. For example, if the pump is running at 70 psi, Recharge the dampener with 14 pounds of air. Step 14. Reinstall oil sight and oil plug. On the front of the pump, reinstall the oil sight. Next, on the bottom of the pump, Reinstall the oil plug. Step 15. Reattach the pump to the power source. Reattach the pump to the power source. This may be a gas-powered engine or an electric motor depending on your sprayer model. Step 16. Refill the pump and pump crankcase with oil. Check the oil drain plug located on the bottom of the pump, making sure that it is installed to the crankcase. Fill the pump with SAE 30 weight non-detergent oil to the recommended setting which is approximately halfway up the oil site glass. 